back up your code right now. Sign up for Dropbox and copy your code folder onto it. it takes only a minute and it's worth the hassle. I'm going to assume you already have a game. Sign up for GitHub and try to use a sensible name because you might use this for employers in the future. <coughs> yes. Install GitHub for desktop and sign in with your account. Go File, New Repository. Give it a name, choose your game folder, choose a git ignore for your engine, but don't fret if there isn't one, you can add it later. Hit Create Repository. Your game is now tracked with source control on your computer, but that's not enough. We're now going to get the code onto GitHub. Hit Publish Repository. Set the name and check Private Repository. It will take a moment to move your files onto GitHub. Head over to GitHub, click Repositories and you'll see it at the top. All your files are now there. Let's make a change. More Bounce. Now test. Back in GitHub Desktop, you'll see the changes we made. Write in a short message. Hit Commit. And that change is now saved on your machine, but not in the cloud. Hit Push and wait a moment. Now you can see your new commit on the web. Also in your code editor. Now get organized. Into GitHub on the web. Click Projects, Create Project. A project is a load of features like player movement. Choose Automated Kanban from the template. Click Create. The board comes with some help tickets. Give them a read, I'm just going to clear them out. I'll make each thing to do as a note. Order the notes with the most sensible thing to do at the top. When you're ready to start some work, click on the menu icon, select Convert to Issue. We do this so that we can attach code to it. Click on its name and over on the right you can assign who is doing the work and give it a label. Now move it to In Progress. Aim to keep only one issue in progress at a time. Let's get the issue number one bug fixed. Reduce the bounce. Test. When we write our commit message, we add on that it fixes hash one. That will link it to the issue. And push. Back on the project board, ticket has been moved to done because we added the fixes keyword in the commit message. Let's look at the issue now. Click on its name on the right and it opens in a new tab. You can see everything that happened to the ticket and when. Most importantly, any commits that are associated with it. Click on the short commit ID and it will take you to the changes. Mr. Bounce is a little too simple to show you the power. Let's use Clomper as an example. Let's say I'm trying to remember why I changed the claw code. I click down on the history until I see the lines change. This looks interesting. So I stop and I check the commit message. If that isn't enough, I can take the issue number, head over to GitHub and search for it. There's the issue and there's the commit. Now I can understand why the change was made. Your project is not too small. It doesn't matter if you're solo. Use source control. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and until next time. Goodbye.